I have an untested theory that the single most common container for data sets in the entire world is spreadsheets. And of those, I think the majority are probably going to be Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. So for instance, if somebody sends you a spreadsheet or if you download a spreadsheet from online, it might be in Excel format. And even though it's really easy to import Excel directly into Google Drive or into Google Sheets, I do want to show you, you also can just resort to plain old copy and paste. So I've got a spreadsheet here that's import and it's the same data I've been using for some other examples. I'm going to select the entire set by doing shift and then command or control with space. I get the rectangle. I'm going to hit copy and then just go back to Excel sheets and hit paste. I'm going to do control or command V in this case. And there's my data. I'm ready to go. On the other hand, it may be that you also are going to be using data from web pages on tables. I do this occasionally. And so for instance, if we go to this next tab, I have a link here to a page in Wikipedia on Nobel laureates that has a table in it. So let's open this page and it talks about who's won the Nobel Prize, which is a wonderful thing to do. And here we have a table with a list of everybody who's ever won a Nobel Prize from 1901 down through 2017. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I find it works the best if I start at the bottom right and I just click and I drag up and I'm going to go up to 1901. Just have to not go past it. Almost there. And I'm going to copy the headings too. So now I let go. I've got that all selected. I do Command or Control C to copy it. Then I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. I'm going to come to this cell right here. And all I do is I hit Command or Control V to paste it in. Now, this is going to do something slightly weird. And that is, these are all links. So I've got a million links in this table. And truthfully, that may cause problems as I'm trying to deal with the data. So I'm actually going to ask Google Sheets to not paste it as links, but to paste it as plain text. I do that by coming to this little clipboard that pops up when you first paste something. And I say, give me the values only. And now you see it just turns into unformatted text. And that's a great way to go. I can then, if I want to, I can delete this first row. I can then lock that first row. I can put it in bold. I can highlight the columns and then just double click right here to resize them. And now I've got a data set that I can work with. This is great. I do want to show you one tiny more little trick about copying and pasting in Excel. I'm going to go to this sheet called Paste Transpose. And I'm just going to type in a little bit of data here. Now, I showed you in another video how Google Sheets is able to fill in a pattern. If you do one, two, three, it just keeps continuing. Or if you do Q01 or Q02, it can also do this with things like days of the week. So I've got Sunday, Monday here, and I'm just going to highlight those two. And I'll drag it down a little bit. And look, we now have the whole week. Now, what I want to show you is if you want to switch it from being arranged vertically in a column to being the column headers, what you want to do is a special kind of paste called a transpose or transposition. So I'm going to copy this by hitting Control or Command C. Then I'll just come over here and I'm going to do a control click. It's a, actually a two finger click on my trackpad and go to Paste Special. And we've got a few options here. The one I want to show is this one right here, Paste Transpose. And it flips it around from the rows to the columns. And if you're trying to set up your data for analysis, this can save you a lot of stress about trying to rearrange things manually. And so that's just one final tip on getting data by copy and paste into Google Sheets.